Mathematicians are the last line of defense for the status quo. So what is the role of math in physics? So the role that mathematicians play in physics today is very different than it was intended to be. Math is the last line of defense for a failed model. If something disproves the model or is something that is inconsistent with the existing model, they turn to mathematicians and have mathematicians calculate what needs to happen so mathematically it fits in with the status quo. Mathematicians are the last line of defense for the status quo. We have completely abandoned logic and in most cases abandoned the scientific process. Most recently, it was done with dark matter. We saw something that disproved Einstein's theory of gravity, so it's a mathematicians. Now we're looking for dark matter. Again, there are dozens of examples of mathematicians bailing out problems that we found with the existing consensus model of physics. We need to reapply logic as the primary driver and have math support the logic. If you properly define ether and apply that fix to the model we use to theorize the universe, um, you can easily create a unified theory of physics. What is this ether that we are talking about? So ether is a word that's been used for thousands of years to represent properties of vacuum space. The universe has always floated in a sea of ether. The first principle Einstein eliminated was the was having an ether in the model, assigned no properties to empty space. He realized it was a mistake in 1920, tried to add it back in, uh, but the institution moved on without him. If you properly define the ether and apply that fix to the model we use to theorize the universe, um, you can easily create a unified theory of physics. These dimensions different laws of nature. The first dimension, you can go back and forth as far as you want to go, infinitely, but you can't take a left. So if you suggest, hey, let's go left, the idea of a left-hand turn is impossible to comprehend because it defies the laws of nature. Transport to the second dimension. You can take left, right, every place. You get to the second dimension, you go, God, I'm such an idiot. I couldn't understand left yesterday, but now it's so easy because it's been released. Same thing with the third dimension. You're in the second dimension. You go, hey, let's jump. The only way to answer certain questions, now, so you reach an infinite designation, that is a dimensional boundary. Join the conversation at beyondeinstein.org.